when you're able to bring to bear some of those capabilities to help the British public, that really, really makes the job worthwhile. Community response was massive. They were just massively grateful for the fact that we were all there and helping and stopping any sort of flood waters getting in. So you can put a company on the ground with three Chinooks, which is quite remarkable. Um, if you then transpose that to a civilian um, aid situation, like we've seen in the wake of Hurricane Irma, for example, in the Caribbean, the aid that that can bring people, the tons and tons of water and food, or tons of ballast and rubble to shore up the dam of Whaley Bridge that was at risk of breaching uh, and destroying a town. And you've almost got dare I say it, the perfect helicopter. If it weren't for the Chinook, we wouldn't have been able to shore up the dam at Whaley Bridge because of the speed at which we could get and the amount of, of aggregate that we could put onto that dam in a short, a relatively short space of time. Now for the audience that may not know what DAFIX is, effectively it's a digital automatic flying control system that allows us to arrive at a location in a a fully automatic hover with the aircraft, be that in height and laterally forwards and back as well, which is, is really, really helpful. One of the most recent examples I think that's really, really highlights the Chinook's capability is the dam relief uh, or dam building that we did at Whaley Bridge Reservoir, where actually the new capability that we put onto the aircraft, so DAFIX, really made a difference. And you could see that in operation where the, the force were able to drop aggregate bags to pinpoint accuracy to build back the, the, um, the strength of the dam and effectively save, save the village. Routinely, we don't drop undersung loads from heights. <laughs> you've, you've certainly done it wrong if that's the case. But this was an opportunity where we were in the hover over a dam um, and allowing us, our guys to drop bags of aggregate straight into this, this well that had appeared. Um, we were picking them up from a road location, which meant that you know the guys were filling them as soon as we could pick them up, and we we, we were doing it for you know pretty much a, a solid 24, 36 hour cycle, pretty much. Julius was actually the first ever program I worked on when I joined the company, so it's very dear to my heart. Julius saw the aircraft go from an analogue to a digital platform, uh, which was pretty groundbreaking for the fleet around that time. The DAFIX modification provides a wider range of control. It improves the handling quality, safety and mission effectiveness. The DAFIX upgrade particularly allows pilots to hover in place or land in situations uh, with limited visibility um, and is the most invasive modification performed on the UK Chinook to date and the evolution was remarkable. We added a digital flight control system and it allowed us to have a four axis uh, autopilot and flight director. What that means in, in normal terms is I could plan a mission on the ground during our ground station, I would plug it into the aircraft, I would beep up into the hover, engage the flight director, the aircraft would pitch forward and complete the mission to arrive at my designated target in the hover on time on target, as I planned, you know, maybe 12 hours, two days ago. I would say it was the most important rotary aircraft out in Afghanistan, by a long shot, yeah. For what the Chinook facilitated out there was so important, because of the area of operation, because of what it was, how it was, and how we were spread out. But to resupply all those multiple destinations, it couldn't have been done without the Chinook helicopter. And for that reason, you know, underslung loads were maybe, um, I think of a peak of one operation, we constructed 30 in one day. Various natures, so um, they can be very simple. It could be a pallet of water in a net, 
or they could be a complex vehicle load, slung, etc. Whaley Bridge obviously was what we call Sulbs, single use lift bags. And obviously the platform itself is, you, you can still internally load, you can land on, you, you can load personnel or you can load equipment inside the cab. It can then lift and then be hooked up. From a Boeing perspective, we'll continue to be proud to work alongside our customer to support, modify and upgrade the existing fleet, whilst working with them to look at new capability and new airframes. As the Chinook will evolve and we continue to support that out to 2060. We recognise, you know, the unique role that that aircraft plays and the importance of it to the UK defence missions. And we're proud to continue to play a key part in working alongside our UK RAF Ministry of Defence customers.